Now, there are a lot of amendments on the ballot this year. Casey Alberton is here to tell us which one stood out for Gainesville voters today. There are a few confusing, weird combinations and a few controversial ones. Voters have to sort out whether any of the ideas deserve to be enshrined in the state constitution. I went to three different precincts today and talked to as many people as I could to see how many tend to prioritize them. I think Amendment 4. 3 for me. Amendment 4. Um, amendment 9. Amendment number 4. Uh, amendment 13. Amendment 4. It's election day and Florida voters have a lot of decisions to make when it comes to this year's ballot. It has the most amendments since 1998. 12. After talking to people at different precincts in Gainesville, a few stood out. Amendment 3 on casino gambling. Amendment 4 on restoring felon voting rights. Amendment 9, the odd couple, oil drilling and workplace vaping. And Amendment 13, which would end dog racing. Obviously, uh, gambling brings with it some good and some bad. And I think each community has to decide what that means for them. We talked to a lot of people today and they said that a lot of different amendments are sticking out to them, but the one that's sticking out the most is Amendment 4. I think it's time that some of these felons get their vote voting rights back because at the end of the day they're people like us. We talk a lot about how convicted felons don't have the ability to reintegrate back into the population, but doing something as simple as giving them the right to vote without getting arrested again would be a really great way for them to be civically involved. So I don't believe they should get the voting right back right after they get out of jail because after they've gotten out of jail they've been influenced by others. Obviously they're getting back on the right track, but I think they need to become a citizen for at least around five years. And while certain amendments are in the spotlight, there's a common consensus. All amendments are important because they directly affect us in one way or another. Of course, you could skip some, but others take the strategy, when in doubt, vote no. The amendments need 60% approval in order to change the state constitution.